Welcome to this nourishing yin yoga class where we will connect and soften into our heart. this class I will only gently guide you into the poses. Once we arrive there I will be silent for the entire three minutes in which we will stay in them. If you want to get access to more exclusive content just like this, I invite you to join our beautiful online community on Unfold today. For this class, you might need a bolster and maybe even a block. We will start this class sitting on our heels, placing your hands softly on your thighs and then gently closing your eyes down. Feel yourself arriving in your body. Take a gentle breath in and a sigh out. And again, gentle breath in, sigh out. Beginning with a soft cat cow movement, inhaling, arching the back, look up, exhale, round the back, slide the hands forward. Moving like this a couple of times in your own rhythm, staying soft in your body. And then coming back to center. From here, if you have one, go ahead and grab your block. Go ahead and extend your right arm forward and over to the left side. See if you want to place a block underneath the right side of your body. Only if it feels supportive. Placing the right side of your face gently on your arm. And then wrapping the left arm around your back. Closing your eyes and allowing yourself to become fully passive.
Slowly begin to bring your left hand down, pressing into both of your hands, lifting the chest slightly, and then just begin to draw some circles with your spine. And then again, extending this time your left arm all the way over to the right and maybe placing a block underneath the left side of your body. Head rests gently on your left arm and you can wrap your right arm around you. Again, becoming fully passive in every cell of your body. Slowly bring your right hand on the mat, pressing yourself back up, take your time. On an inhale, slowly reach your arms along over your head and on an exhale, grab your left wrist with your right hand and pull it over to the right side. And then switching sides, pulling your right arm over to the left. And release. I am going to turn on my mat so you can see me, but you can stay where you are. Keeping both of your legs bent with the left foot being placed in front of you and underneath your right thigh, while your right shin is placed on the outside of your right thigh. Place your left hand behind you and on an inhale, reach your hips up. On an exhale, gently sway forward and over to the right, twist open. Moving like this back and forth a couple of times in your own rhythm.
and then release. From here, if you have a block, you can go ahead and place it to the left side. Leaning your left forearm or your left elbow onto it. And then letting your right arm rest over your head. You can also support your head with your left hand. And you can also remove the block if you want to go deeper. See what works for you. And again, try to become as passive as you can. Slowly inviting some movement back in. Gently begin to draw some big circles with your right arm, using the entire range of motion. And then slowly coming back up setting your block aside for now. I am going to turn around again, but again, you can stay where you are. Bringing your bolster now sideways on your mat, right behind your sacrum. Leave your legs just as they were, and then begin to slowly lean back onto your bolster. You can cactus your arms wide. Becoming soft in your entire body.
Now very slowly begin to come back up. Take your time. Setting your bolster aside just for now. And again, I'm going to turn around so you can see me. I invite you now to switch the positioning of your legs. So this time your left shin is on the outside of your left thigh. Placing your right hand behind you and on an inhale, go ahead and gently lift your hips up, reach your left arm back. And on an exhale, softly flow over to the left side, twist open. Again, moving like this a couple of times in your own rhythm, in your own time. And then release, placing your block, if you have one, on your right side. And then again, your right forearm on the block. Letting your left arm lay gently on your head. As you softly gaze towards the sky. Again, you can also bend your right arm and support your head with your right hand. See what works for you and then arrive in our next yin posture. Slowly inviting some activeness back into our body by beginning to draw big circles with your left arm, making them as big as you can.
And then slowly come up, setting your block aside, leaving your legs just as they are, placing your bolster right behind you, and then slowly beginning to lean back. Again, you can cactus your arms wide here. Closing down your eyes, becoming passive in your body, softening every part of it. Slowly begin to lift your body back up. Again, it is very important to take your time, especially after we've been in a long yin posture. Now setting your bolster aside for now and coming into an all fours position. And here, an invitation to find some intuitive movements, circles, waves. See what wants to be expressed through your body. Now on your next inhale, begin to wave the spine forward slowly, dropping first the hips, and then moving through a cobra all the way down, placing your forearms on the mat, coming into swings. On an inhale, gently begin to extend both arms. Exhale, come back to swings. Inhale, extend or almost extend your arms. Exhale, swings. 
Inhale, extend. Exhale, lower. One more time. Inhale, extend. This time, hold. And then release. Extending your right arm to the right side now. And then begin to roll on top of your right shoulder. Bending both of your legs. So you're laying on your right side. You can either wrap your left arm around you gently. Or you can have the left hand be placed in front of your heart. See what feels most nourishing for you. And then allowing yourself to become passive once more. Slowly begin to extend both of your legs. And then rolling back onto your belly. Pressing into your hands. And then finding a child's pose just for a moment. Maybe you move your head from side to side. Now on your next inhale, begin to wave the spine up and forward, dropping the hips low, moving through a cobra. Forearms to the mat come into swings. Inhale, begin to extend both of your arms. Exhale, lower back into swings. Inhale, extend. Exhale, lower. Two more times. Last time, inhale, extend, and this time hold here, just for a moment. And release. From here, begin to extend your left 
left arm over to the left side, rolling on top of your left shoulder, bending both of your legs. And your right hand can either be placed in front of you or you can wrap it around you. Now slowly beginning to extend your legs and then rolling softly back onto your belly, pressing into your hands and landing back in a child's pose. Again, just for a couple of breaths. Now slowly begin to round your upper body back up to sitting on your heels. On your next inhale, reaching both of your arms along over your head, open your heart. And on an exhale, shake it out. Shake your entire upper body. Beautiful. Now for our Shavasana, you have a couple of options. I like to place a block underneath my bolster to elevate it just a little bit more. You can also lay flat on your mat or put the bolster underneath your knees. See again what feels most nourishing for you. And then whenever you have found your perfect position, Inviting once more this deep sense of softening throughout your entire body as we melt into the beauty of Shavasana.
Slowly come back to your breath. Begin to deepen it. Maybe wiggling your fingers and your toes. Maybe extending your arms along over your head. And then find your own way back up into a cross-legged seated position. Once you arrive there, I invite you to find any last intuitive movements you feel called to in your body right now. Now on your next inhale, begin to reach your arms along over your head. Exhale, palms in front of your heart. One more time, deep full breath in, reach your arms up. Exhale, letting your palms land in front of your heart, bowing down to yourself and to this practice. Thank you for spending this time with me on your mat.